Yeah, hi, it's uh, Brock here again. Just um, just wanting to talk a little bit about, I guess, depression today. And, um, you know, I guess my experiences, um, you know, on some days when I was just feeling so depressed that, you know, I could, could not get myself out of bed and the, the thought of doing anything productive or doing anything apart from lying in bed was just so scary and I thought was so um, beyond me. Um, but it got to the point where, you know, I started to, uh, look, I changed my, my expectations and I changed my focus on what it meant to be productive, um, on that day. So, you know, I looked at things like, you know, getting up and, and having a shower, um, as being a win or, you know, getting up and, you know, just getting outside for five minutes um, for fresh air and, you know, that was a win for me or, you know, putting a load of laundry on or maybe, you know, washing a couple of dishes or, you know, just even just getting up out of bed and maybe moving down um, to the couch, you know, those little things that on a normal day when we're feeling great might not feel like you're doing too much or being productive at all, but on those days when you're feeling really depressed and um, you feel like there's not much hope in the world, those little actions can make such a difference and make such a profound effect um, on our mental well-being. So, um, you know, in particular, or especially in, you know, uh, these trying times of COVID and, um, and lockdowns, if, if, you are, if you do find yourself, you know, um, on certain days where you're feeling like that, just, just try tempering your expectations and, um, looking to do little things like that. And I think you'll be very surprised at how um, effective and powerful it can be um, on your state of mind. So uh, continue to look after yourself and continue to practice um, self-compassion and empathy and, and continue to love yourself, especially on those days when you're not feeling great.